welcome to my channel tech tips today we will showcase you how to form the cluster between two IAPs here the IAPs can be of the same model or IAPs can be of the different model also to form the cluster between two IAPs you need to uh, follow the two mandatory criteria the first mandatory criteria is both the IAP should have the same firmware version and the second mandatory criteria is both the IAP should get the same management IP address and the, IP, the management IP address can be either in the DSCP server or can be statically assigned also. Now I will showcase you how to, to form, how to configure the IAPs. So I have now one of the IAP, I am just SS, connecting via SSH. I will execute some of the commands. This IAP is broadcasting lab 02 as a SSID. It has IP address 192.168.0.2. So it got a code 6.4.4.8. So the secondary IAP also should follow the same version and same set of uh, IP address. Okay. Now I'll plug the second IAP to the network. I stop the AP in the boot prompt. I'll just factory set the AP. I'll save the configuration. Now I need to assign the static IP. We don't have a DSCP server here. So we have assigned IP address and we have saved the configuration. So now we have two IAPs. So one is a master one and this is a secondary IAP which is acting as a slave. But right now the slave is not knowing any information about the master. So we need to introduce slave to the master okay, with the two commands. See, set in UV master will point the master IAP with the slave IAP. Set in UV server IP will download the firmware from the master IAP. So I'll save the configurations. I'll type the command print environment to check whether my configurations has been saved. Now I'll just boot the IAP.
now it will take five to eight minutes of time to complete the reboot process Now you can see the second IAP has got the firmware 6.4.4.6 but the primary IAP has a version 6.4.4.8 which means before forming the cluster both the IAP should have the same firmware. So once this AP comes up now after a few minutes the AP will reboot and then it will download the firmware from the primary IAP and then it will form the cluster. You can see the entire process here. So it got IP address also which we have given as a statically. So you can see it's showing that the AP is not ready yet. Okay, so the reboot process started.
see now you can see the second IAP also got the 6.4.4.8 version from the master IAP. Now in few minutes as the AP comes up now it will form in the cluster. You can log into GUI so it will be very easy to understand also here. I just refreshed. See now you can see the second IAP has come came up and uh, it's not broadcasting yet. So another few seconds it will broadcast. It's already formed a cluster. So now you can see all the both the radios are the power. So which means the APs are broadcasting. Now you can see two IAPs in a cluster. Okay, so also just remember on the IAP go to the system. So there is an option called as a auto join mode. Okay, so by default this auto join mode is enabled. So because of that if any IAP you plug to the network it will uh, if you have a DSCP server it will automatically form a cluster. So if you want to control that if you are manually want to control the IAPs joining the cluster then you need to just go and disable this mode. Once you disable this okay, you can find a new option here you can just click on the new and you can mention the MAC address of the IAP which need to form cluster. Thanks for watching my video.